Hello and welcome to the Slingshot Channel, Christmas 2021 edition. <laughs> and today it's all about pistol crossbows that shoot these very small and highly attractive little bolts. When I, like almost 10 years ago, started to experiment with pistol crossbows by adding magazines and so on, all we really had was these little bolts here, really field tips, very cheap. And, but then now, uh, so many different models are on the market uh, from Taiwan, from Austria, from China, uh, from pretty much everywhere. Everybody is bringing out really cool models and I'm completely excited to see the success of these little weapons that are effective and beautiful. Still one of my favorite models is the AR6 Stinger Tactical. Uh, you can actually put six of these bolts into this thing here. It's very easy to cock it and it shoots like a dream. Bang! <laughs> and for another shot, you can very quickly repeat it. Really cool. Lukas Janikowski actually built this Ederini pistol based on my original wooden prototype. And it also works really, really cool. Because it has the same underlever cocking method like the adder. Bang! <laughs> and at any time, of course, you can shoot again. He's using rubber bands. And the rubber bands actually make a lot of sense because the profile is so slim. <laughs> and um, I, it's so easy to cock it, even though these bands have about 50-60 pounds resistance. So it's a serious weapon. Since Lukas is doing these in 3D design, so everybody can print them, uh, they just have to spend like 12 euros for his plants uh, so they can download them. But they can also change them. So a user called Faramir sent me his version. He calls it the Mini Adder. And the Mini Adder actually has a stock that is actually foldable. So yeah, you can fold the stock like so. And then you can turn it back into a pistol or you can go full AR-15 mode again. <laughs> also, he did a change that is really interesting for Germany because as you see, this has, this has no lock. So when you cock it, you simply hold it close by grabbing onto it with your pinky. And this means that legally it is no longer a crossbow in Germany, but a bow which is completely unregulated. So you don't have to be 18 or older. You don't have to keep it under lock and key. It's, it's, just, a, it's just a bow. Also, he used a full crossbow pistol uh, throwing arm, which has the advantage that it is a little bit quicker, but also um, it does not tire out. You can keep this cocked for a long time, whereas with rubber you have to fire quickly, otherwise you will lose energy. In any case, uh, this also cocks like so, so it's the same cocking method, but as you can see, it will not, not hold. If you release this, it will actually snap open again. So this is why it's legally a bow. But once you hold it, there is no problem at all. And you can fire with a lot of power, since this is a full pistol crossbow. <laughs> really cool version of my original idea. And then Steambow from out of Austria actually even went back to a smaller design which is the Stinger Compact. It's basically the same pistol crossbow, but it has a direct linear and spring-powered uh, cocking lever. This means that you can cock this like so, and it automatically returns, and you can shoot, and then very quickly you can return. And in fact, you don't even have to take your arm out of the line of fire, which is really nice. And it's pretty small, so I think it deserves the name pistol crossbow, but, but, this is pretty large for a pistol. When I think of pistol size, this is actually what I'm aiming for. I want a crossbow pistol that is as small or just about as big as the 1911. In this case, it's of course an airsoft model. So, but if you compare it even to the smallest one on the market, like the compact, you can still see that there is a very significant difference in size. This is a lot longer and it's also a lot higher. It's a small crossbow, but it's not as small as a firearm pistol. So the question is, can we make a legit, a legit pistol crossbow that fires these awesome little bolts, but isn't larger than this? Hmm, I think we can. Let me show you what I came up with. Meet 
the smallest pistol crossbow in the world. Legit, with five shots in the magazine. Self-cocking, of course. Bang! <laughs> Let me show you its features. Okay, so this thing is entirely made from wood. I actually started out by sawing five layers of this thing out of uh, plywood. And actually, I can make this smaller because, as you can see here, I only had plywood that was a little bit too thick, so this could be thinner, really. And I think if someone really makes a 3D model out of it, it will be thinner. It will be a lot more trim, not, not, not more wide, not wider than a firearm pistol, I think. In any case, I try to make it as short as possible. This is the bolt it fires. As you see, the bolt is almost as long as the whole gun. So if you can, you can also look inside here. So you can see that the room for the trigger part, which is actually a one part, you can see it here when I press the trigger, it's a loose. So this is like a bullpup design because the acceleration length is almost over the same, over, over the whole length of the weapon. So I don't think that you can go smaller than this because you need a little room for here so you can make the lever with a spring powered thing that presses down on the bolts in the magazine. And also I don't think really that you can shorten this down here. So, for example, if I now take off the rubber bands, then you can see, when I move back the slide, you can see that this actually really is the whole trigger mechanism part. So you need the length for the mechanism. It must be somewhere. Loading it is fairly easy. It's basically like, like loading a firearm magazine. You just snap the bolts in and then you go. The bands are actually quite powerful. I clocked the resistance and it's actually 56 pounds. So this has a higher draw weight than a regular uh, Cobra pistol crossbow, which is about 50 pounds. I added a little bit of a paracord loop because you can actually cock this thing uh, just like wrecking a slide, but it's actually a lot more comfortable to just do this with two or three fingers uh, through the loop here. It just gives you much more, you know, room to hold on to. Bang! <laughs> Can I shoot quickly with this? Yeah, pretty much. Because again, you don't have to take it out of the line of fire. So you can fire and then very quickly go for the next shot. Doesn't take long. Now, is this dangerous? I think so. Even with these little field tips, it's kind of dangerous. But if you use the original Steambow uh, hunting broad heads, like this one here, this is a complete game changer. Because what this is, is, is a razor, razor sharp little dagger, really. And you can actually hurt yourself and actually draw blood just by touching the razor sharp tip. So it's really, really dangerous. And if you shoot these, even if it's not that fast, it is still really, really dangerous. And we'll test this now. And how will we test it? Of course, by using ballistic gelatin. <laughs> and again, like I always do, this is protected by three layers. This is furniture grade leather, representing a leather jacket. This is cotton, representing a t-shirt. And this is actually glued on window leather, cleaning leather, which represents skin. And then of course we have the FBI certified original ballistic gelatin that by the way, you can buy in my store. <laughs> I put the link down for you. And by the way, size comparison. So I think you can see that the length of the pistols is almost identical. I think by every dimension this can be called a pistol. Would you not agree? So I've now loaded in a few of the hunting bolts. Let's see if we can hit it. We're going to shoot from close distance because I don't really have sighted it in and I don't want to waste the expensive bolts. All right. Okay. One hit. Okay. That was the second. She snapped one of the rubber bands. And number three. Looks like we caused some damage. Okay, let's carefully inspect it. Well, as you can easily see, the tips penetrated into the gelatin. And actually, this means that they went through all layers. So, okay. Let's go for it. Clearly, went through the leather and of course also through the t-shirt 
and of course also through the leather skin. And then further on penetrating deeply into the uh, gelatin. Now is this deadly? I'm not sure. I think if, if it would actually hit in the right spot, and actually this is pretty much very thick leather, I think this can be called potentially deadly. Uh, and in any case, if you shoot with this thing against a human being, I think this is manslaughter, at least if not murder. <laughs> is this for sale? No, I never sell my handmade products. Um, the second question, will this be a commercial model? I don't know, because I give all my designs into the public domain. So I think it's highly likely that one of the 3D geniuses out there, maybe Lukas Janikowski or Faramir or who else, uh, will eventually come up with a plan for this. Since I believe this is so small that you can even print it in one piece or in, without gluing pieces together from a few, in a few layers, from just even using a regular cheap small scale 3D printer. Um, so. And, uh, but maybe one of the commercially active uh, companies like EK Archery, Steambow, whatever, will also make a version of it because I think it's great fun and it's also a legit weapon. <laughs> anyway, I hope you like this because that's it for today. Bang! Thanks and bye bye. <laughs> okay, one for you, just because I always do it. <laughs> As a little bonus, these anti-zombie crossbow with the skull ejector makes a comeback, but only because I want to see if I can set a new record for firing 18 bolts in a consecutive fashion with a crossbow. <laughs> Since this one still has the hook, so I don't have to put it down, and this one still has the ability to not lock anymore, I also disabled the, security, the safety. So, shall we go for it? <laughs> this will be short distance because I'm not really gonna aim, I'm just gonna fire away. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and empty. <laughs> How was that? 